Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did a couple of battlegrounds. We lost in Alturic Valley, but we won in Arathi Basin. Did a couple of quests after. And now we are in a Shadow Tombs group. This is the final dungeon that we have not done yet in Akandun, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see how we do. We still queued up for the BG. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're just gonna leave this queue. Supposedly we got a couple of quests before we came in. Find Spy Togen. Togen the Fool. We're barely holding off the attacks here. And he goes back to get more information and try to save the other spies. I don't know whether to love him or kill him. Shadow Council must have used magic to ferret us out because all of our spies had to get out of there in a hurry. Most of us didn't make it. Please, if you're brave enough to enter the Shadow Labs, will you keep an eye peeled for Togen? It's been a while, and I fear the worst. We have the Codex of Blood. It's been two years since the Shadow Council summoning that resulted in the explosion of this once great mausoleum and the formation of the Bone Waste. Now they are at war with an unbelievably powerful force on the inside. Trabbox, you must make your way into the Shadow Labs to determine what they are up against and to see if it poses a threat to us. Our spies speak of their use of a forbidden book of unholy summoning known only as the Codex of Blood. Seek your answers within its pages. Right, so we got a couple of quests to do. Looks like we're just steamrolling this dungeon at the moment. These are better than blood there. It's cool having a bumpkin in here. That hurricane does so much damage. Gotta love bumpkins. Howling blasts are a lot of fun too. White stamina intellect, though. Not what we want. So we got to find a toga, a codex, and this guy named Toke Organ or something like that. I think it might be an escort. We got a lot of XP in that first room. Almost halfway to seventy, guys. And we are still. I think we're like a day away from Wrath releasing. Two days, actually. So we got some time. I think we're going to hit 70 for it. Say we Let's hit that crossbow if I can. Grip him. Oh, I can't grip him? What the heck? It's kind of weird. Yeah. Want some big damage from that howling blast. Sure, we keep out corner the winner up. 
Got fear to get out of that. We're out of the fear. I didn't know these guys feared, so it's good to know. Don't want to get them too close to these uh, casters over here. Good XP in Shadow Labs. This guy's got a drink. I like playing classes that don't have to drink. Drinking sucks. <laughs> But those classes, they are fun. They're not bad. It's just, it's, it's, it is awesome to play a class that can just keep going and going and going. Like, no stop. The thing is, these mana classes, when they dump all their mana, like, they, they do a lot of damage. Like, that hurricane that that boomkin just did. Insane damage. That's a big Allen Glass. There we go, first boss. We're going right in. No drinks. I haven't used in a while. I mean, I don't really use Obliterate a lot. I'll start using that more. Alright, that's one down. Hold up, gang. Need another Docker Pepper Zero Sugar. People love those Zero Sugar Pops now. All the flavors, zero the calories. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty popular. Tons of aspartame in them, though, I think. It's like a Diet Coke, right? Diet Pepsi. I like the sparkling waters. Big fan of those. It's just like natural flavors and water. It doesn't taste better though than Dr. Pepper probably. <laughs> it's like a Pepsi brand called Bubbly. And they noticed that La Croix was like taking over the beverage market. So Pepsi uh, got their own sparkling water. And they called it Bubbly. And I've been a fan of it ever since because it's just a really good price. It's pretty cheap. And for Croix, it's pretty expensive. That's why I never really got into it. A 
Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's they're pretty popular, man. Like the zero calorie drinks, like they don't taste bad at all. It's a big pull, man. Get some howling blasts in there. Survived. Yeah, Pumpkin DPS is nuts. Hurricane is strong. Next ogre boss hits like a truck. Look at these trends just putting in the work. I gotta go frost presence if I can. Is he on me? Good, good. Just heal me. We can do this. Close one. That was a close one indeed. Try as we lived. Oh, wow. Okay, well, there's one more left. Guess we'll eat a little bit of cheese. We gotta buy some more of this, uh... Make our mild cheese. Yeah, we've been pulling pretty big. And I gotta keep horn a winner up on people. I always forget. I should just... Every time we pull... I do a new pull, I should horn a winner before I go in. <laughs> Vasilia von Rosebane. It's an interesting name. Oh, I guess your name changes. This person has the the add-on. Warlock type study spooky things. She has a monocle. On an adventure, how droll. Adventure to max level one day. And supposedly somebody was cheating in chess and they beat uh, the legend Magnus Carlsen. And then he thought, I think Magnus is like not joining the tournaments or anymore or something like that. I, I don't really know. I heard there's been like a big chess cheating scandal going on. But it hasn't been proven yet. Pretty sure the Boomkin story is like not true. <laughs> There's no way that's that's what it is. He's trolling a hundred percent. I don't even know how that would work.
Oh, Meg, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's not guilty. Yet. <laughs> Time to kill. I think he's becoming manic. Yeah, who knows? It's tough being at the top for so long. I feel like any like competitive game or sport. Especially if it's like a, a sport where like it's a, everything's on you. You know? It's like a solo sport. I'm getting beat up here by this. This boss is a big pain in the ass. I had a feeling this would be tough. Who's gonna win between me and the uh We gotta kill something here. Is it like a totem or something? Forget how he like So if he CC somebody, I gotta strangle him. Or MC somebody. Get knocked back. Let's get this cultist down. I think we can do this. Healer and the tank are doing pretty damn good. Time for fun. Okay, now I'm MC'd. We need CC here. Are we all just CC? Okay, good. I gotta. I can't believe we lived there. That was good. Attacking the, the rest of Drew is like the best thing you could have done. He's got a bunch of mana back. Well, we did it. Remanded. I didn't think we could do that. That healer tank combo is pretty strong. I think there's just one more boss after this. I think we see Togan at the end. Or oh, he's back here. Yeah. Yes, Grandmaster. You better deny that. <laughs> I think he would deny it, even if it was true. That's such an extreme way of cheating. I don't know. Definitely a simulation. Yeah, we're all living in a simulation right now. Yeah, it's a pretty crappy claim. That is... The cheater's teacher was a cheater, so he's a cheater. I just, I don't know, it's a, it's kind of sad. Like, can you imagine he's not a cheater? You know what I mean? It would make Magnus look like, I don't know. Kind of a sore sport.
Yeah, so it's like a like a shoe vibrator that tells them where to move. That makes sense, I guess. I don't know how that would work, but I guess there's like a, a way to pull that off. I think we missed the Togen quest. Oh, look at all these skellies. There's so much here. We look at all those numbers. That was wild. A lot of spammy numbers there. There's two, damn it. Should have waited for him to pull them both. Well, so there's the book we gotta get. I think Togan's in the back. I just have to find out where he is. I he's near the first boss. I'll have to run back after this. Charging. Go drop a little death decay. Rip him back. It's running again. It's the next four pack. Stack as much of power as we can for the boss. Kind of cool. Gladly, 
cloth shoulders. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, the musty pages of the Codex seem to magically turn themselves, guiding your attention to a specific chapter. Past horrors no mortal eyes could ever perceive. The book opens to a page that some, somehow feels right, yet so very wrong. The Codex of Blood opening the magically suspended tomb. A sense of dread overwhelms you. Something is most definitely wrong here. You read on, but what you read seems unbelievable. Alright, so we'll pick this up. I think these guys want to keep going here. We'll see what this next quest is. Into the heart of the labyrinth. Destroy a murmur and inform spy mistress Melissa High Crown at the Terrace of Light in Shatras City of the events that have transpired inside the Shadow Labs. And maybe we'll make Shadrath our home. Shadow Council has lost control of the cosmic being that they summoned here almost two years ago. It is what caused the explosion of Akendun and the creation of the Bone Waste Beyond. Known only as Murmur, it threatens to overrun the Shadow Council and break free into the outside world. With Grand Master and the rest of their leadership dead, you are Outland's last hope against this monstrosity. Trapbox, you know at the core of your being that you and your companions dare not fail. And it looks like we're going to fail here because we're getting rocked. What the heck happened? How did we pull all that? We like pulled the entire room. What the heck is that thing? There's a murmur. It's a big dude. I wonder if they can handle this. I think it's gonna be tough. The shaman's pretty damn move. Yeah, hopefully the shaman has uh onk. Oh, looks like they might not need it. Actually, yeah, they will. Shaman's dead. There we go. Shaman's back up, but we are sitting right near them. Actually, never mind. Should be able to get some in there. I wonder how all the extra ones came. I was reading the quest, so I didn't really get to see. The only reason we died, honestly, was because they MC me. Yeah, that's rough. Alright. Alright, here we go. Sure, everybody has horn a winner. We right, should have aggro here. There we go. This pack. I'm gonna let him group him up here. There we go. Maybe some of them fear. I'll pick the fireball. Ball death storm. Yeah. 
Oh my God, here we go, we're fighting Murmur. I don't think we kill him though. It's like all the health he has. It's like 16k? This is what blew up Aachen did. Murmur. It's hard to get like a good picture of this guy, he's so big. Let me just take a picture of him. Look at the size of this guy. You know, I'm probably not gonna get a good picture. <laughs> Let's run in here. I doubt this will you, you kill him. We'll see though. I haven't done this in a while, so I forget what really happens. Sonic boom. Killing this does a lot of damage. Really, it's a, that's a cooldown. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got rocked there. I might die. Oh my gosh. Nature damage inflicted every three seconds. I actually have to take down all his health. I assume you got to run out for Sonic Boom. Good thing we popped Ice Mount 42 to really guide. Comes another one. Let's run out this time. See if it does damage. Okay, it does damage. I'm just gonna heal myself. I can't get over there though. So how do you get out of Sonic Boom? You got an LOS? There we go, there's the Shadow Labs. I don't really want any of this stuff. Well, that looks pretty epic. Murmur's weapon. Well, that seems to be it. There you go, guys. Alright, so I got one more quest to do. Did we get everything there? Yeah, we slayed Murmur. Now we just have one more quest. Looks like these guys want to go again. Should we go again? Should we do another Shadow Lapse? I don't know. I don't want to be the party pooper. I hate being that guy. I wonder if everyone's going to go. Yeah, we got the druid, we got the warrior, we got the healer. I wonder if the lock will go too. The thing is, I do want to uh, do a couple of BGs though. But I don't think we'll hit 70 if we do this dungeon. Again, probably be three, four bars more in, I think. Maybe two to three. Pretty damn close to 70. And then we have a couple of quests we're going to have to turn in. It should get us a decent chunk of XP. I 
be cool to be in an AV that, like, doesn't end in, like, ten minutes. Like, one of those long AVs. You gotta convince everyone to play D. For that to happen, though. I doubt anyone would want to do that, though. It's a fast way to get, uh, to get to 70. And you get some honor as well while doing it. It's a pretty smart way to level. And then once you hit level 70, you can just get a bunch of, you know, honor gear. And here we go, we found Torgan. Or Togan. What, Grixa sent you in here after me? I don't know whether to be touched or call her a fool. Do you think you could help me get out of this cage? It's a bit cramped. So how do I help him? To steal five soul devices and deliver them to Spy Mistress Shadrath. Destroy Murmur? We did that. Where do we get the soul devices? Well, there we go. I guess we'll have to do it again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to do it again. We need those soul devices. Question is, should I just keep this as like a long episode? I could probably be over an hour. I don't think it would be a bad idea just to keep it going. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. It would be good to hit 70 soon because right now current day of the, when this episode releases. Wrath Lich King's been out for a couple days, though. So. I would want to get out to Northern soon, like, on the videos. So maybe we'll make uh, the next couple episodes pretty damn long. We'll try to try to hit level 70 as soon as we can. If these guys want to go again, I'm down. It's taking a while, though. To get out of the dungeon. Taking us a while to get out of the dungeon here. Alright, so I'm out. I assume they went back in. And we're going in with them. Oh, yep, they're already clearing the place. All right, let's do this. Shadow Labs Part 2. This time, we need to get the soul devices. And we need to deliver them in Shadrath City. Not sure where they are, though. Would be good to get, like, the first, you know, Northern episode out for October. I think we can hit... How many bars do we need? Seven bars? We'll probably get, like, a couple bars here, and then we'll probably get the rest the next episode. Tank's really good too. I don't really lose any. Rotten up when you pull. Let's grip this guy back. Then after turning in those two quests, we should probably be like a 
Should give us at least a bar. Probably be three bars away after this. And then maybe the next episode we'll just do BGs. Until we hit 70. It's three bars. You could usually probably get three bars. Just by winning a couple of BGs, I think. Good XP in here, though. Fast way to level up, that's for sure. Yep, six bars. Number 70. It's coming. I think this time around we're going to do this dungeon pretty quick. Last one was pretty fast though. So had some trouble on, on some bosses. Broken over here. Yeah, the healer's level 70. I wonder if she has, like, raid gear. Boomkin is 67. And then where everybody else is, like, 69. Yeah, we need around 200k XP. Each one of these guys drop us like a thousand. A little bit more. But we slay 200 of these guys. <laughs> we would be level 70. See this uh, gear? Sky Shatter Helmet? Yeah. This is uh, a raiding healer here. 
Got five sets Sky Shatter. Your chain heal ability costs 10% less mana and increases the amount healed by your chain heal by 5%. Essence of the Martyr, yeah, that's a nice one. Pretty geared. Pretty damn geared. Healer here. No wonder we're not dying. This is like a joke. It's on normal too. Like I healed the uh, heroic set the calls and it was pretty much a joke. where I get these soul devices. They've been torturing me, trying to get me to tell them everything that I know. I failed. They fed the others to the Helm off. And I was to be next, but I told them nothing. They're crazy. They're hell-bent on summoning demonic forces that have no way... They have no way of controlling. They're using special... Special devices to make their soul shards, and they're summoning more powerful. You must steal these devices, I would join you. But I must return to Shara City to report to the Lower City Spy Mistress. Alright. So I assume these guys are holding on to them? Maybe that's what we'll find them in another room. Another shield. This is a big pull, man. Oh, look at those numbers. That was ridiculous. Look at that Typhoon. I love that ability on Boomkins. Boomkins doing so much damage right now. It's crazy. Run, dude. A chain of ice, some of them. I'll grip this one away from you. There you go. Thought that was a wipe? Yeah, it was close. <laughs> yeah, Typhoon's so strong. That's what allowed him to survive there. It's a lot of fun using Typhoon and BGs too, pushing you know the enemy team off lumber mill. And cap in the flag. Nice look. Let him group him up here. Go.
Oh, he's getting cracked right now. Wish I had a grip for him. Should probably save my grip and change the ice this guy to slow him down at least. Get away. Feels like we're going faster than the last time around. But he's doing bigger pulls. See if he pulls all of this. Let's see what type of pull he's gonna go with here. I think this is what we're going with. Big damage. Here they come. Here comes the hurricane. It's smart of him to wait like that, because then they won't chase him. The hurricane does so much damage. Let's get completely wrecked. Oh, so these are them. Okay. Well, now we know. I think I'm the only one on the quest, so... It should be pretty damn easy. I didn't... Oops. There's a list click. If anyone wants. You'll be sorry! I needed that by accident. I don't even know if I'll open it. Probably can't even open it. Time for fun. No, here we go. Always. Oh, He's such a beast. Nice, got me away. I like tank him like. Right here. There we go. We got some good damage in there. Going a lot better than last time. What the heck? He knocked us over this. I thought sitting behind that was time a good idea. Fun. Here we go again. Let's see if we live through this. Spookin might kill me. You AMS. Use AMS. There we go. Use the anti magic shelf. Now we're safe. Adamantite figurine. Tanking trinket.
There we go. One more soul device left. So we gotta look for these uh, little huts. We're four bars away. I think we'll probably be less than like three. It'll probably be like two bars after we turn in the quests. Be nice if we could hit it right here inside. How much XP we get for these quests? 37k. Pretty much 38k. So close to 40k. I don't know if we'll... Probably need to run the dungeon again. Or do a couple small quests. It'll be close. Here's, here's these uh, soul devices. Need one more of these. So there we go. We got two quests done. Do you have any more complete? Stormwind? This can get us 10k. It's got around 90k almost. So we get to, uh, like, over six, could get over 600k, and we could potentially just hit 70 after this. I don't know if that's going to happen. Need around, like, 30k XP for these last two rooms. I'll go pull both. Oh, it's only one pack. Oh, that's big damage. Anybody gets on the boom can, I'll try to grip them. Level up. I think somebody hit seventy. Oh, the warlock might have leveled up. I missed when Ding was the thing. Yes, I knew somebody leveled up. I just didn't catch you. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we can get solid 10k. Come to my aid. 
I might try to just hit 70 this episode if it's like really close. And we do a couple small quests. And we're going to be uh, taking the boat from, I believe, Stormwind, right? Does that take you to... Uh, Gotta find out which one takes you to the Howling Fjord. That's the one I, I want to go on. It's either the one at Menethil Harbor or the one at Stormwind. I'm not too sure. I'll look that up because Wrath will be up by the time this comes out. Gladly. I hope it's the one at Stormwind. But it doesn't really matter. We should get a decent amount of XP here. Depends how many he pulls. Rip him in. It's gonna allow us some. Kick that. Yeah, kick that. That's good. Looks like he's getting them all right here. Yeah, okay, that's good. Nice Typhoon. That interrupted that cast. That howling blast did big damage. Hope we're okay. Yeah, we're tanks getting rocked. Healers keeping them up pretty damn well. Checks, yeah, like it there with that one pull, we got like over 600k right there, and then hopefully we can get another eight or like 10 or 20k. And that'll we do like one quest after this outside, and maybe we'll do the Tomb of Lights, and that should be it. The Tomb of Lights could get us, uh. A 16k from that plus all the mobs we slay that should be like 25,000 25 to 30k and that's level 70 guys might not even have to do that depending on how much XP we get here He's rolling. Got a grip for the broken. Come on, mind on my money. How much is that? 100 gold we've looted. Not bad. There are our bags they're doing. Getting pretty damn full. Organize them a little bit. I'll have to get rid of all this junk pretty soon. Yeah, this is it, the last boss. Right now, we just need close to 100k. And we're done. There we go, we're fighting Murmur again. Murk will die to that uh, sonic wave. Or if I can AMS it, I think I could probably AMS it.
There it is, Sonic Boom. Let's see if we can anti-magic shell. Anti-magic shell? Get way less damage, that's for sure. It, it blew up our, our shell, though. Our shell got completely wrecked. Boss got totally destroyed. There we go. Oh! Imagine dying to that after. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so yeah, we need uh just under 100k. That's pretty good. I wonder if these guys are done. Two bars from 70. I'd do it again with him. If he's two bars from 70. Here, we'll just... Let's see what happens here. We have the two quests to turn in here. I wonder if they're going again. Are you guys going again? Oh, they're going to quest? I'm down for whatever. If they go... I, I, All right, GG's. That's good. Can't call it. My goods. So we'll just do a couple of quests. It's a really good dungeon group that we got. They like skyrocketed us to seventy. So let's uh, finish this off here. We are not going to waste any time. So we're gonna do one more bone waste quest if we get some cheese we'll buy a little bit more cheese it's probably more than enough all right guys this should be our last quest here the tomb of lights well our last quest in outland Yeah, the tank didn't want to take another dungeon. Tanking is, uh, takes a lot out of you. Like having to lead the pulls and stuff like that. DPS is kind of like mind numbing. You just walk around, follow the tank, do your rotation. Alright, so you just gotta slay these guys. Let's try to group up a bunch of them. And get this guy too. Guys, a caster. And one of our damn it, our things broken. So right after this, I think we should have enough XP. And if we don't, there's a Quan Quest and Storm when we can turn in. That gives us nine K.
I hope this works. So from all the quests we have to turn in, that should get us around 85k, I'd say. And this quest could make that somewhat close. Right now we need 90. Yeah, we'll be good once we turn this in. Pretty much perfect. Yeah, it was a fun journey out in LA, and I enjoyed it. Happy we came to the Bone Waste. Got to do all the dungeons in Auchindoon. Tried out the Mechanar. Even got to do a couple of Battlegrounds as well. Five more Ether Mancers. I guess there's a bunch down here. I'm surprised we didn't go down in this in this spot here. We need to repair our gear. our final plunderer. So I have to fight these two. Two more, and we're out of here. We're slaying ethereals to finish it off. There's two there. It's this guy. Oh, okay. I think we can handle all of them. I'm gonna grip this guy in. on here. Should be the last one. And that's it. Still need to do a bunch of these. Get a couple done. Pretty quick. Just max it out. We're gonna need to max it out anyways. Let's see where we gotta go next. We gotta go over here at the bone waste and then fly up here. And then we're done. Looks like we're having a little bit of lag. So let's get running here. It's a lot of lag. All right, let's turn this in. This should give us only two bars left. And hopefully this plan works out.
This is a pretty long episode. It's like over an hour. Not too bad. <laughs> as long as it's not two hours. I think that's a, when it gets a little extreme. Out here in the wilds of Outland, we are weak with few heroes to defend our rights. But you have given them something to fear, Death Knight. I do th not think the Ethereals will soon forget the strong right arm of Trap Box. Alright guys, less than two bars to go. Looks like we need... Just over 60k. We should get that from these two quests right here. And I'm going to have to find out which one goes to to uh, Howling Fjord. It's going to be the Menethil Harbor boat. Or is it the boat in Stormwind? We'll have to find that out. I have to repair my gear. It would be terrible going into Northern with broken gear. I might clean up my bags, too, before we, uh, we head out. Probably do that off-camera. We'll get everything set up so we don't have too much clutter going into Northern. How are our bags? We only have 12 slots. Could maybe upgrade that a little bit. Right, so let's turn these in. Here comes the ding, guys. Need help? As a representative of Lower City, I'm here to put forward our case that Akundun must be cleared of its Shadow Council infestation. That is, if we're to have any hope for a future and stave off the possibility of a cataclysm greater than the creation of the Bone Waste. All of our peoples have suffered too much already. I am here to see to it that the suffering stops. Murmur almost broke free. They've had that thing contained in there for two years. I wonder what they did wrong to lose control over it after all this time. Trapbox, by putting the, that beast down, you've likely saved all of us. I cringe to think that would have happened to all of us here and the rest of Outland if that thing had somehow managed to break free. I'm glad you helped us to take matters into our own hands and deal with the Shadow Council threat at Akundun. How can we ever reward you? Guess we'll take these plate boots. And the final one. Yes, what can I do for you, Death Knight? Togan was here earlier giving me his report. He should have stayed with you to help. I sent him back out there to assist Grikta. I think they make a cute couple. So, these are the soul devices that the Shadow Council were using to enhance their summoning power. They look dangerous to me. Maybe the Scryers will know what to do with them. Please take one of these as a reward for clipping the Shadow Council's operation in the labyrinth. I'll take the plate wrists and boom. Level 70, guys. We did it. How about that? No more XP bar. It's all gone, but it'll be back soon. So uh, I guess we'll head over to uh, Stormwind. That is, up. that is it for Outland, guys. We are done with Outland. So let's go to Stormwind. That was one hell of a journey. Oh, <laughs> it went to the wrong one. I always go to that one. I don't know why they even have that there. It doesn't lead to anything. There we go. And his joyous journey's gone? Yeah, it's gone now. They take it away once you hit 70. I thought it was gone because of the date, but I think it's up for another couple days. Alright, guys. Well, let's head over to uh, the trade district. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, that was pretty damn quick. I'm enjoying the DK. It's a lot of fun. And I'm excited to see what we get as we level up and venture into Northern. I think we can repair right over here. There we go. What can I do for you? And that's it. Guess we'll sell these uh, wrists. We got some wrists, right? Probably just sell all this stuff. 
don't think anybody's good. Maybe people will use it. No, we'll just sell it. Is that blue? Is that blue a BOE? It's soul bound. Let's get rid of all this stuff. That mace we won't level up. There we go. I cleaned up the bags a little bit. Maybe I'll get these boots some gems. And we'll go out with them. The buzzard, the meats, we're not going to use. Could have sold that for gold and maybe would have helped us get our, our mount. Maybe made it like 50 more gold there. Probably less. Be careful. But yeah, let's finish our first aid. And that will be our the end of our journey, I think. That's really all we need is just our first aid. Don't really have any other professions going at the moment. It's going to take us a while to get this up here, I think. Since it's green now, but we need it. Maybe you can get it at 370. Like the next upgrade for first aid. I think the cloth is called, like, what, Frost Weave? I think that's what I remember it being. It's good we're getting rid of all this nether weave cloth we got. I think we actually still have a bunch in the bank, though. Come on. Imagine we don't hit 375 with all this. We might not. We're barely getting any XP here. Are you kidding me? I don't think we need 375. I think 370 will be enough. I hope it is. I'll have to check it out. But I thought we would have been okay. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of our Outland journey. Next episode, we will be venturing off into Northern. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.